Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and this is just going to be a quick demonstration of uh, just how extreme the VRM on the Gigabyte Z590A Aorus Extreme motherboard uh, is. So as you can see, uh, I'm running it here, no VRM heat sinks, this thing in the way so that we don't have like airflow from the radiator uh, cooling down the VRM. Um, and uh, yeah, and it's just been running Prime95 for like the last hour and a half, and... I mean, it is hot. Um, it was cooler when I still had the window open. The problem is this is a relatively small room and the the 10900K that's in there is pulling, according to the motherboard, it's pulling about 360 watts right now. So the room temperature sort of goes up and down based on how, like if the door's open or the window's open and that kind of thing. And for recording, I closed the window. So yeah, the, the VRM started warming up a bit. Anyway, ambient temperature should be around 23 degrees, might be slightly higher. Um, and, um, yeah, so the VRM's sitting at 106 degrees Celsius, which is like, you know, that's kind of on the hot side. But um, this is also, like, really abusive <laughs> of the power delivery. And it's not really that far, like, technically all the components in the VRM are spec'd for, like, 105 degrees. Right, that would be like the lowest temperature spec in, in the VRM would be the capacitors, which uh, those would be spec'd for 10,000 hours at 105 degrees Celsius. Um, and the thing is like, we're not actually like, it's not the whole VRM that's at 106 degrees. It's just like one, one part of it that's this hot. So yeah, if you check like this part, right? This part's at like 85. And then as we go up, Got one area that's over. Well, that area is really, really hot. Yeah, so we have some inductors that are sitting all the way up at 110. Um, but then if we go up a bit, and then along the top edge, right? So there's a bit of a range to the temperatures. Also, I wonder where that VRM temperature reading is from, because it really should be right. Like it should be spot on, um, which it isn't. It's there's. It might also be my, my thermometer is just like not um, measuring slightly off. Three degrees Celsius is not really something I care too much about. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the, the VRM uh, can, can run just fine extended loads with, with no heat sink and uh, pretty much no airflow, right? Like <laughs> this is, this is the, pretty much the worst way you could uh, run, your, your, run your VRM. Um, and we're going to put take away the, the airflow blocker because I want to see what that's going to do. Now, I think most of the cooling is actually going to happen from the back of the board um, because we still have the memory sticks in the way and like the AIO and, and the GPU here. So there's not really that much space for air to, to get in here. And also the MOSFETs are, you know, beh under like behind the inductors, though just cooling the inductors will, will cool everything. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's remove that. And because the, the thing is, the board is actually sitting up quite like sitting up relatively up high. So, um, yeah, the one of the fans on the radiator is blowing basically directly under it. Um, so, yeah, and immediately you, you can see the temperature just starts plummeting on the on the graph over here. We're already at 103. So, yeah, heat sinks um, like the like n with no airflow, it would sit at, you know, um, not ideal temperatures, but considering the, the, the load I'm throwing at the CPU and, and the ambient room temperature, which now we're at almost 24 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's not a big room and the 10900K is very, very thirsty. Um, yeah, now we're at 99. So yeah, basically if you had, if you had this board in a case, um, and your case had like decent airflow in it, you could almost, you could run it naked probably. Actually, not probably. You could almost certainly run it naked. That's the same. That's just like a different way of saying probably. But the, I like. I don't want to say definitely because it's like you might run into some weird edge case scenario where you can't. But yeah, if if you want, like, if you wanted to run your mother, like, run run one of these boards naked, you definitely could. Um, definitely, very. That is very very doable. Um, and now we're all the way down to ninety six degrees Celsius and. Yeah, uh, <laughs> when you got a 20 phase V-core, I think it's 20. Yeah, so 20 phase V-core of 90 amp power stages, you just kind of don't need heat sinks anymore, right? 
So, uh, yeah. And the cool thing is uh, the Gigabyte Z590 Master also uses basically the like most of the most of this VRM. So that's I think an 18 phase version of this. And um, yeah, so now we're down at 93. The airflow makes such a huge difference. <laughs> like airflow really makes such a massive difference. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing is like these high end boards. Um, like unless you're like you basically have to go out of your way to get them to overheat. Um, which uh, yeah. Also, the the fact that um, like the the thing is, I'm cooling the CPU with just a two forty millimeter AIO, and that's not exactly ideal either. So I think like if you had a better CPU cooling system, you could probably sustain the same amount of power draw with lower VRM temperatures. Because I wouldn't be too surprised if some of the heat from the CPU was now just leak like starting to soak into the into the PCB itself, like into the board itself, and there therefore driving up the VRM temperatures even higher. Um, but yeah, whoa, we're down at 91 now. Like, admittedly, you wouldn't really have the, the, the like, that much of an air gap behind the motherboard in a case, because the board's really, like, sitting way up off of the desk. Um, but, uh... Like, actually, I could probably demonstrate just how high up it is by... Like, you, you can see where the... Like, now the radiator's on top of it, and now the radiator's on the desk, so, yeah, that should give you some idea of just, like, how high up the board is. So there's a lot of space for airflow under it, but, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with this video. I think it's too long at this point, so, yeah, that's... That's it. Thanks for Gigabyte to, for for sending this board over. Um, it's very overkill, as as you can clearly see, extremely overkill. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, I have a Patreon. Uh, there's a link to that down in the description below. There's also the AHOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch. Um, both of those help out with supporting the channel. So it would be much appreciated if you'd check them out. And that's it for the video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.